This is our 89 Buick Riviera. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all the cosmetic blemishes and there'll be some clips of the interior as well as under the hood. So we purchased the car recently from the second owner. Uh, he was in Pennsylvania. He had bought the car at 22,000 miles in 1993 when the car was just four years old. Uh, always garage kept, car now has 63,000 miles on it. Uh, it is original paint throughout with the exception of the hood, uh, which we did confirm with a paint gauge. Really, really impressive condition throughout. Uh, you'll see all the blemishes, which are minimal, later in the video. Uh, but body is nice and straight. There's just one little door ding at the bottom of the driver door. Aside from that, really, really nice and straight. Wheels are in excellent shape. Uh, tires are older than I'd like. I uh, would recommend replacing those sooner rather than later. Uh, though they're not dry rotted, they're just a little older than they should be. Glass and light lenses are clear and crack free. Uh, lights and signals are all functional. All the polished surfaces are really nice. Minimal oxidation. The car's been garage kept and it shows. No exhaust leaks or anything like that. Car is nice and silent. This car does have the uh, onboard computer and digital dash display, which you'll see here in a minute. Uh, really, really cool. It has a, uh, you can see the exact RPMs. It's a central control unit where you can control everything. I mean, climate control, you can check all the fluid levels, uh, run a diagnostic, um, control the radio. Everything is through the center console display and it works perfectly. Now here are all the cosmetic blemishes on the car. A couple little chips on the front end. Just close ups there. Pretty consistent with what you expect from a 60,000 mile car. And then the aforementioned door ding on the driver door just below the midline and trim. And there are a few touched up chips on the driver's side quarter just behind the door handle can see there. Come around the back. Very nice. Just a close-up so you can see what those polished surfaces look like. Very, very good. Come around to the passenger quarter. There is a light scratch there. Probably about two, two and a half inches long. You can see the quality of the paint finish other than that though. It's original and we did wax it, we buffed it. Looks really, really sharp. Now onto the interior. Uh, door panels are mint. No kicked open markings, no you know indentations from elbows or anything like that. No loose seams on the steering wheel. Steering wheel is very nice. No cracks or warping or discoloring of the dash top. Looks really good. See, looking at the lower dash, uh, the wood face doesn't have any, uh, no hairline cracks. There is, you can see there on the, uh, the black portion of the gear lever track, uh, there's a couple little spots where the black is peeling away. Uh, the flashing is due to the iPhone reaction with the screen. It doesn't actually flash in reality. But as I mentioned, the air conditioning is cold, fan and heater functional. Uh, all the gauges work, all the interior lights work, uh, windows, wipers, locks, all functional. Now here's a good look at the interior. Really, really impressive. We don't usually see this velour cloth, you know, so well, well presented. Very prone to punctures and scuffs and this just really doesn't have much. Good look at the carpet, still fresh, nice vibrant color, plush, not all gross and stiff and old. Outside of the driver's seat shows a tiny, tiny bit of wear. Um, definitely pretty insignificant, but the passenger side is mint.
the sills are totally, totally clean. No scuffs or anything like that. It's a good look at the carpet does have the uh, factory floor mats as well. Actually, we'll come with the two sets, but they're in great shape. Rear, much like the front, very clean. 